Hey, I'm going to give you a quick preview of the new POS feature. Shoot us an email if you want to get it turned on for your account. You need a customer called Walkin. Go ahead and put your computer shop name um, as the last name, walkin at yourdomain.com. Um, you can check the box to say no email of any kind so that uh, this fake customer never gets any email out of your account. Once you do that, you head over to POS and it automatically creates a invoice with that customer. Defaults you to the scan a barcode field here with the quantity one. Um, I don't have a scanner hooked up, so we'll just hit the labor and then a trip charge and we're good to go. We can now take an offline credit card, which will just mark this as paid or exact cash. Um, if we want to calculate change to give, hit the cash button and you'll get a Let's say they gave us a hundred dollar bill. Give them eighteen fifty one back, and then you can receive that cash. Going back to the POS at any time, it saves that transaction too. You're not going to lose it if you head out to look at something and come back to the POS. You can remove items here. Um, if you've got authorized.net enabled on your account, you can hit credit to get to the credit card form and enter a credit card number and. That money will go to your authorized.net account. Clear will purge this invoice out of the system. It'll reset it completely. There you go, back to nothing. So add labor, add a trip charge. We'll take an offline credit card. It takes you to the invoice showing it paid so you can hand them a PDF receipt if you want. Um, Go ahead and print that guy out, and you're ready to go. Another little feature we've got here, if you've got multiple employees, um, you can quickly switch between the employees. I don't have multiple here, but um, you could track who sold what. They'll show up in sales reports that way, too. These tabs are going to be for presets of products from your inventory. You can also manually add items here from inventory. But if you go to inventory and play with adding products and changing the sort order, you can make sort orders 21 through 49 will show up on tab 2. Tab 3 will be 50 to 100. So you, know, you could have the hot sellers, the first 20, and then some other category of items on tab 2, most everything else on tab 3. This could all be done pretty easily on a touch interface. That's the goal here. Always jumps you back into the barcode scanner when you come back to the page. That's a preview. This is beta, but totally works. Shoot us an email if you want to use it. See ya.